heaven with. I'm gonna drift off into the memories of Joseph and his brothers. Because this great story grow clearer and clearer every day as I go from place to place. Once upon a time, long, long ago, when the world was simple, full of miracles and wonders, there lived in the land of Kenya a shepherd called Jacob who had many, many sons. Jacob, however, loved Joseph more than the other sons because Joseph was the first child of his loving wife Rachel. You know, it's strange. Before Joseph was born, Rachel called on her husband Jacob, saying, Give me children, or I will die. Do you know Rachel ultimately gave her life in this process? Rachel, unfortunately, died while giving birth to Benjamin, the last son. Jacob therefore loved Rachel's first son, Joseph, so much after Rachel died. You know it's funny, when Joseph was a child, him and his brothers used to laugh, tell few jokes, and play around. But as Joseph grew older, his brothers hated him because the father loved him more. The father even made Joseph a coat of many colors. Do you know that Jacob's favoritism towards Joseph caused Joseph's brothers to hate Joseph more? matters worst, Joseph had two dreams when he was 17 years old. Joseph's dream revealed that his family will bow down to him. The brothers screamed, Joseph, Joseph, we are not going to bow down to you. Instead, we are going to teach you a lesson. A lesson you will never forget. One day Jacob told Joseph to go check on his brothers. To go see how they are doing in the farm. When the brothers saw Joseph coming, they planned to kill him. My friends, wonders never cease. As soon as Joseph arrived, they grabbed him, took off his coat and put him inside an empty pit. Can you imagine Potiphar's 
wife trying to seduce Joseph. Joseph, on the other hand, refused to have sexual affair with Potiphar's wife. Because Joseph didn't want to sin against God. You know, it's unbelievable how Potiphar's wife got upset, lied on Joseph, and Joseph was put in prison for a crime he did not commit. Can you imagine that? This is a lesson for us all. Because some people are wolves in sheep clothing. While in prison, Joseph accurately interpreted the dreams of two of Pharaoh's servants who were also incarcerated. You know, it's funny. King Pharaoh himself had a disturbed dream. Do you know Joseph interpreted the dream so powerful? And Joseph was appointed second in command in Egypt. Joseph told the Pharaoh that the dream says that seven years of plenty food will lead to seven years of famine. Do you know that during the famine, Joseph brothers came to Egypt to buy food? Joseph brothers did not recognize Joseph, who was 20 years old at the time. Joseph, on the other hand, recognized his brothers. Oh, what a strange coincidence. Do you know Joseph pretended? If he doesn't know his brothers, do you know what Joseph really did when he saw his brothers trying to buy food in Egypt during the famine? I'll tell you what Joseph did. He treated his brothers harshly, accused their credibility, and accused them of spying. You know it's funny because as time goes by, Joseph felt sorry for his brothers and forgive Do you know Joseph finally revealed himself to his brothers? He told them, I am Joseph, your lost brother. Can you imagine? What a happy ending! Joseph invited his brothers and families to join him in Egypt. Don't they lift you up if you learn to forgive? If only you forgive. Friends, as you can see, this great story of Joseph and his brothers is a story of boasting, Jealousy and forgiveness. Folks, you know, genuine love does not boast. And genuine love does not jealous. My friends out there, always remember, genuine love goes with forgiveness.